Hello, and welcome back to the sanctuary. It's been a minute, and I was supposed to upload this video like weeks ago, and I just got lazy. That's the truth. I was just lazy. I know I said I was gonna make more Halloween videos for them that month, but I just got distracted. I had ideas, and I didn't get to finish all of them, so now this is just what I'm giving you because um, here it is. I hope you enjoy, and I'm gonna really try for the month of November to be a little more better with the uploads, but I have a lot of ideas and things coming the, like in the future, you know, like things that are going to take more time to execute. So that's something to look forward to and I hope you guys enjoy this video and story time. Today we have a little different video. It goes off the fact that two years ago I had bought in this Riverdale jacket to be Archie for Halloween. My hair was also red at the time because it was blonde and I decided to dye it red because it needed to be dyed. So why not for Halloween just go full route? But a story that we will get to soon. Stop that from happening and I never gotta be Archie. So today we're gonna have some drinks. I'm gonna spill some Halloween story times for you while I try to become So basically, instead of just being Archie, I decided I want to really test my abilities and creativity. So I got a bunch of random things to become zombie Archie. Now, I've never done this kind of FX makeup before, so we can only see how this goes. This is another beautiful palette brought to you by Walmart. It has a beautiful selection of shades. Okay, so I'm going to start with this white powder thing just to make my face whiter and more dead like okay but I mean it came with a uh, one of those things I don't know one of those blotting things but I lost that so I think we're just gonna try to use my hands instead I don't know how sanitary and how well this will work and I can't really see the camera's kind of far so that's also kind of an issue for me here Basically, I'm gonna start off right from childhood, the saddest moment of it all, probably where the horror really started. My mother didn't really let us go out trick-or-treating. You felt that pain? I know, I feel it too. You know, it sucked because I didn't get to go trick-or-treating a lot of the years. Instead, we sat and watched TV in my mom's room all night while I could hear kids running around going to house to house trick-or-treating. Anyways, we're gonna jump right into high school. Um, we went to a party, me and a couple friends, and obviously there was some underage drinking going on. Bad decisions, point number one, don't underage drink. So basically what happened is we went to this party, we all got turned Tina, mm -hmm, and uh, we all went to my friend's house. I left with a girl, he left with a girl. <laughs> then we all went to this kid's place. Now, obviously you could assume what was supposed to be happening in those days. Anyways, my girl falls asleep because that is the story of my life. His girl does not fall asleep. I am sitting there watching white chicks by myself while they're not in another room next to me. No, 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 no. They are literally like inches away from me. And they're <laughs> doing it. And I'm just there watching white chicks, which is one of my favorite movies. So like it was really sad and heart, heart, heart and heartbreaking for me because I had to sit through that and it was really awkward and weird, you know? Right now I'm feeling very white, um, very ghostly almost, you know, just. I think the white is done. It's as good as we're getting with my hands, okay? Cause I'm literally like, you can't, I don't know if you see me like digging into it. So we're gonna dip into this and we're gonna use shade color green. So we're gonna dip this thing and we're just gonna just try to make, we're gonna blend it with the brown and really just trying to make ourselves look as disheveled and gross as like possible. So my next story jumps all the way to college, okay? Well, actually, no, wait, stop. Hold the phone. Okay, we're reversing back to high school. One time I was at a party and people were smashing bottles and not meaning to smash bottles, but like some people did and the, then other people dropped them accidentally. Anyways, the dad got really mad and, and then fought a few people. So that was just a fun little tidbit. Um, I had nothing to do with it and I was perfectly good 
and everything, but I also, too, it would be a little annoying if people were, like, dropping bottles and having glass all over my home when I'm opening it to you to have a party. So now we jump all the way to college. I'm going to visit my friend. We have to be like, what, freshman in college, which seems like so long ago now. So anyways, we were freshmen in college and we were going to a bar. Now, honestly, still not 21, still underage, got a fake, sorry, but like, honestly, I can't say don't do it because sometimes having a fake really comes in handy, even if you want to go to shake a paw, which I'd done before. Went to the bar, right? I dressed up in just like a nice shirt and then they gave me a same brow and I was just like, on vacation in Mexico. We're waiting in line, we're together, we get real close to me and my friend, we're almost there, and they let her in and they're like, no, you can't come in. I'm like, what? And some of her friends were already inside. So we were gonna meet some of her friends inside, whatever, and she got pulled away and I couldn't go in. So she stayed. So luckily her roommates were at the other bar and I guess the other bar was not as popping, but it was like kind of popping when I got there. She tells me basically to go meet her friends at the bar next door. So I go to the bar next door and I meet her friends. They are cool. So we all chat, start drinking and whatnot. I start getting lit, turn, start turning to be Rizzo on my alter ego. And he's kind of a pimp, so <laughs> he has game. Anyways, he goes outside with the girls and he starts talking to them and whatnot and whatever. The one has a boyfriend, I will add. Sorry to blow you on the spot. You're probably not watching this, and but if you are, hey. Do we start going outside, whatnot and whatnot? The one girl goes back inside, keep talking to the one girl with the boyfriend. All of a sudden, we start making up all up on the window like slobs. It was the alcohol, and I guess you don't care. Plus, we're, it was like a college thing, so like everyone, no one cares. But we're on this glass. And then her friend starts knocking on it hard because obviously we're going crazy. So then the one friend comes outside to smoke a cigarette and she tells, she's like, girl, you have a boyfriend, what are you doing? Like blah, 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 blah. And she's like, so, like whatever, like let me do what I want. That girl goes and back inside after she gets called out, right? So then this girl starts hooking up with me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> can judge whatever and whatnot. Is While she is doing this, she burns me with her cigarette. Okay, anyways, great. That happens, we go inside, I'm over it, I'm dead now at this point. My friend finally comes and being like, hey, let's go home, like, hey, okay. So we're getting picked up by I don't fucking know who. So someone's picking us up, and as I'm going to the car, <laughs> I just start vomiting, and obviously you can't be doing that in the streets. So then she takes me to a trash can where I vomit my life out, and then I get in the car and we go home. That was my one Halloween story that was a fail because I didn't get into the one bar and then also I threw up everywhere but you know the rest <laughs> anyway sorry I'm literally disgusting I disgust myself I'm a disgusting person we grow up we move on I was okay. now we move on to more recently and this is the worst part mm. My more recent story is a very tragic story and it breaks my heart to even talk about because I lost my baby in that story. Not a literal baby, it was a um, metaphorical baby. It was my car, okay? We're gonna title this when Brandon thought he could, could have it all, okay? But I couldn't. Brandon works a full day of work till 10 o'clock uh, to p.m., right? He gets a text from his boy right before he's out of his job and he's like, yo, you wanna go all the way to Princeton, which is like about an hour, not even, 45 minutes away, but where the bar was, was like another 20 minutes away from that. So all, all in all, about an hour away. So I was like, you know what, screw it, let's be spontaneous and let's do it, like whatever, we're gonna go meet his cousin, then we're gonna go meet his family who owns the bar and whatnot, it's gonna be great, we're gonna have free drinks, like it's gonna be a lit time, whatever, like, whatever, he's like, you wanna drive him? Like, <laughs> sure, like, my first mistake. So now I have to be DD, right? I'm like, okay, whatever. And I thought I was going out again. So that's when I was going to wear the RT costume. And I was like, okay, this is just a random day. This weekend, we're going to just be wild. Okay, great. Awesome. Thought that was the plan. And we get there. We have an amazing time. We meet up with all the friends, this, that, and the other. While this is happening, I'm realizing that, like, it's late. And I have to open the pool, my job, the next day at 4.45 a.m. Think about it this way, with your time frame given, let's say I get out of work at 10, I go home, I change, whatnot, ready by 10.30, pick the kid up, we get there by at least 11, we go to the bar, we have a good time, and we leave. And then I drop everybody off, give that another 40 minutes just to drop everybody to their house in Princeton. Also, fun fact is I'm basically blind at night without my glasses, which I of course did not have. And I'm driving. We are a town over from my town. We are almost there. We are like five minutes away. So it's really dark. It's really late. It has to be about 
two, two o'clock in the morning, right? I'm driving, I'm driving. I have no idea for the slittest second I look away. I really could not tell you if I was on my phone, what I was doing, nothing like, because I have no idea. And I look away and then, ba bum and my friend who was sleeping next to me wakes up and he's like, did we just hit something? And I had just kept driving because I was just so dead and out of it already that I just did not care. So I kept driving and then we got out of the car and nothing went bad. The only thing that looked messed up was my grill. And I was like, okay, I hit a little, I hit a deer, like it's cracked, it's fine, it's whatever, let's go. We're like, we're gonna go to his house and we're gonna chill and I'm like, you know what, I'm not gonna go to sleep because I gotta wake up anyway soon. So we put on a movie and we're just chilling. All of a sudden I pass out. I wake up at 6 a.m. and I'm like, crap, I have to go, I have to go. Then I go, I start getting my stuff on the way there. On the way there, I just had some issues getting to work. <laughs> Finally get to work. I have my shift. I'm dead. I'm so tired. I just want to go home. And I think my car is fine. I'm like, I can't believe I hit a deer. Whatever it is, what it was. All that's messed up is my grill. That's just a com cosmetic thing. Not a big deal. Until I go outside and my car has like a big puddle underneath it. And I'm just like, what the hell? So I drive it home. My mom looks at it and she was like, oh, no, no, no. This is no. I'm like, oh, crap. Basically, I told him my car and whatever I hit was already on the ground and I dragged it underneath so everything that was underneath my car got like pulled back and something was leaking. So I totaled my car that night. And you know, I lost that car. Mm, that was my favorite car. It's just really sad. This doesn't look too bad. I think I did like a pretty knock up job. I don't know how to put this on. It says directions, hold on. Okay, so I basically think you can just stick it to your face. I'm just gonna stick it to my face. Oh shit, I have to paint this too. Let's put some of the, this stuff on it. Make it blend in with the skin. It's all about blending, guys. We have to blend, uh, blend, blend, blend. Honestly, did that sound amazing? When I watch this back, I hope it sounds as amazing as I thought it sounded. <laughs> as much as I care to do for this thing. I'm not going out, I'm not doing anything. I'm just doing this for you guys. I'm gonna take some vampire blood and we're just gonna, no, that's a bad idea. Right? This is really sticky and gross and has blood all over it. I'm not a fan of this. Not a fan. How do you guys think this turned out so far? I mean, right? Give me five seconds and I'll be back. My eyes, oh no. Thank you guys so much for watching and listening to my Halloween stories. Um that were mostly fails. Uh, Halloween really doesn't work out for me. Either does Christmas, so just wait for that to happen. This thing does not stay on, wanna stay on. It did, just literally just came off. Now there's a train. All right, I'm gonna go. I'll see you in the afterlife. Peace out.